Hello everyone, I'm Jay and this is the Camden Stitch and thank you for joining me today. I'm looking excited because Betsy's just come in. Come on! She'll join us when she's good and ready. Today I am going to be reviewing uh, this little baby which should come with a health warning. It is Quick Sew K4138 uh, dungarees and dress and I made the dungarees which I'm wearing and they were a bloody nightmare. I'd seen a few other people make this, uh, make these dungarees and I had actually seen them say that they'd had to take a lot of ease out of them um, but I am pretty canny with big four patterns because I make a lot of big four patterns I'm not bad at calculating the amount of ease in them so I thought I would be okay I was wrong um, so I went to make the dungarees and the dungarees say that suggested fabrics cotton types denim rayon or chalet now I had got this gorgeous denim that I got I think from somewhere in Walthamstow last year the reason it's gorgeous is just because it's dead dead soft and I thought it'd be really nice it's kind of medium weight denim um, I thought it would be nice but I was really wrong um, so the issue with these wasn't the amount of ease I made a size I made a size medium which according to my body measurements was correct the waist from medium 27 and a half to 29 inches my waist is 29 inches when I made them up the waistband fitted me fine but the trousers as you can see the style is that you obviously make them with excess design ease and then you gather them in um, but don't do it in denim denim isn't suitable for this I mean I should have known but then again the people who make the patterns should have known more than me um, it was just too stiff there was too much fabric in there um, I shall post a picture of the offending garment when I tried them on I looked just like a clown the issue was really with the ratio of fabric to um, the waistband so the ratio of fabric in the gathered part to the waistband it was too great um, I wanted the gathered effect but the amount the thickness of my fabric meant that the waistband couldn't actually accommodate the thickness of the fabric once it was gathered um, and obviously if you left it looser then that meant that they were going to be too big and they wouldn't fit on the waistband um, and not only that there was too much ease in the legs I mean if you look at those legs they are fairly, or they appear fairly narrow fitting, I would call that. I'd call them loose, but they're not baggy, they're not flary. Um, I'd say the ones that I made up had kind of half that again in terms of the width in the leg. Um, I was getting really fed up because I'd done loads of beautiful lilac top stitching with um, this... I top stitched with two cones of two spools of thread running through the needle to give you a sort of thick and noticeable top stitch. I've done it on all my legs and all my pockets, and so to unpick them meant that I had to unpick all the top stitching. And because this fabric is quite quite stretchy and quite soft, it really stretched out of shape. And I felt like the more I handled the fabric, the further away I was getting from actually being able to make it into something wearable at the end. Um, so I did get quite annoyed. And in the end, what I did was I got out the Tilly Buttons pattern for her. M -m 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 begins with M. Not Mira. Maybe it is Mira her dungaree pattern and I laid the pattern pieces against um, the trouser legs that I'd got and I used them as a guide to basically whittle some off the legs so I took about probably two inches off the outer leg and an inch off the inner leg um, and some height off the waistband because that's the other thing they were coming up here um, 
which maybe was my fault, maybe that I should have shortened them in the leg, but I don't normally need to. I normally need to shorten the length of the leg, but I wouldn't need, normally need to shorten the crotch crotch rise. Um, so the issue with the, the Tilly Buttons dungarees don't have any gathers at the waist, so I was going to finish up with um, a sort of flat fronted trouser, when actually what I'd wanted was a, something that looked a little bit gathered in and sort of puffed out again. Um, so I finished up just cobbling it together and putting um, a little pleat in either side um, because that was really the only way I could make it fit with what I'd got left. Um, and I put a little pleat in the back as well. But they are probably the worst sewn thing I've ever made and I got so annoyed. I finished up sewing the bib on slightly off centre. Um, by the time it finished up, the zip at the back's a, a real mess. Um, I, because I'd had to put it in once and unpick it and then um, that stretched out of shape so by the time I had to sew it in again, although the stitching and everything's fine, the fabric had stretched. Um, so by the time it got to st st stitching the straps on, they were wonky and I just didn't care anymore and I thought, well these things are only ever going to get worn in the house. I nearly chucked them in the bin. The reason I kept persevering with them is because the denim is so comfy and soft. I thought, if I can just get them right, then I know that I will wear them a lot in the house. Um, and that was what I'd wanted to make them for. I hadn't really wanted to make them for something that I would go out and about in. It was just a slouch around the house pair of dungarees. And so, yeah, I guess I finished up with that. I should pop some pictures in so you can make your own mind up. Um, when I tried them on today to film this vlog, I thought, hey, they're not as bad as you thought, you know. Um, yeah, if you look closely, you can tell. Actually, Ian, who is Mr. Eagle Eyes, didn't notice that the bib wasn't straight, which means that it can't be as bad as I think it is. And I think the thing is, once you've got things on your body anyway, they do tend to shift around a bit, don't they, anyway? Um, and it's only, you know, it's meant to be a kind of lazy type garment, but... <laughs> on the um I always trace out my patterns so that I can make adjustments to them and I basically got and I put notes in the patterns and I basically got with this do you really want to go there again I can't see any way on earth that I'm ever going to make this pattern again um I don't know why I haven't put it in the bin uh, but that is my <laughs> honest review of K4138 don't bother with it I'm sure there are other patterns out there that will get the same effect um, with a lot less stress. Okay, I hope you've enjoyed this pattern review and I shall see you soon. Bye. Um, so, I, what? <laughs> Come on, Betsy. Come on. Come on. Let me take you to your tree toes. <laughs>